All right, music fans, welcome back. Harmless Dave here talking about real music and uh, a real funny episode with John Mellencamp and doing it in real time for a few real people just like you and just like me. I've had to reread this article a few times. Uh, People from Toledo are known as Toledoans, right? Toledoans. So I had to to kind of practice that word, and I'm pretty sure I'm not saying it correctly. Someone will correct me, but before we get to the people of Toledo and John Mellencamp, this is just such, (laughs) this is a joyful story for me. Um, Here's a band called Chimera. Typically, I don't like the word Chimera. It's like you know, creepy things crawling around and monsters and so forth and mutations. But this is good. This is called Hold Your Ground came out, I don't know, a year and a half ago, maybe. And it's good. It's melodic. It's kind of a combination of Journey and Def Leppard kind of mashed together. Yeah. Um, So check it out. Hold Your Ground, courtesy of Frontiers Music. And uh, the band has other offerings that are equally compelling. So you should check those out as well. I just I'm in a goofy mood after reading this John Mellencamp uh, article. Here's the headline: John Mellencamp walks off stage after being heckled at Toledo show. <laughs> what happens in Toledo should really just stay in Toledo. I often use Toledo as just this random place when I'm talking to people. Like those guys were really big in Toledo, or. You know, I don't think this is going to play well in Toledo, right? So just, I love Toledo. I don't know why, but I just do. Um, So John Mellencamp doesn't care for audiences talking back to him. Oh, so right away, the writer has taken a pro John Mellencamp opinion. Yes, just because of that first sentence. He doesn't care for it. He doesn't like the interaction. And folks in Ohio learned that lesson the hard way. Okay. Well, anyway, videos circulating on TikTok, those people in Ohio, they're at it again. Didn't they do this to him in Cleveland last year? What is it with you people in Ohio? You're paying good money to see John Mellencamp and you're interrupting him. He he needs to get through these songs. I mean, I hear he tells these really compelling stories, though, in between songs, and that might be the issue here. But let's continue. Let's find out what actually happened, shall we? So anyway, um, video circulating on TikTok shows Mellencamp being heckled (laughs) by an audience member at his Toledo show on Sunday, March 17th. Now, what was going on March 17th? Um, St. Patrick's Day. And I'm sure, I'm sure the $17 beer was a flow in. All that disposable income, you know, and especially uh, when people hear Mellencamp compared to what he used to sound like, they're going to have another. They're going to keep, you know, sucking them down because, because um, this doesn't sound like John Mellencamp in 1985. What, what happened to John Mellencamp? Well, he got a lot older, number one. And number two, apparently he's gotten a lot crankier in his old age after supporting Michael Bloomberg for president. (laughs) The farm boy supports the billionaire um, oligarch for president. That was just rich. I support Michael Bloomberg for president. (laughs) He's got my values. Oh, okay, John. That was a good one. Um, Anyway, uh, so he's being heckled at the show. And then he ends up giving the guy a piece of his mind. Yeah, of course. Uh, You pay all that money, you heckle, and then, of course, you're going to hear about it. Mellencamp, here it is. In in the clip, Mellencamp is telling the audience a story when someone yells out, play some music. You know, it would have been funnier if he had said, play some funky music, white boy. To which Mellencamp responds, what do you think I've been doing, you bleep, bleepity bleep? So the word begins with a C. And I think the first part of that word is 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 related to a chicken. And the second part of that word is probably related to a lollipop. That's that's all I can say. Um, He adds, here's the thing, man. This is Mellencamp. You don't know me. Uh Oh, so he's going passive aggressive. You don't bleeping know me. 
that time it's pretty clear the begin the word begins with an f and has an ing as an ending uh he then addressed someone in his crew named joe hey joe <laughs> where are you going with that gun in your head i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm here all week folks um, don't forget to sign up for patreon um <laughs> so he finds joe telling him to find this guy, meaning the guy who heckled, go find this guy and let me see him after the show. Dun, dun, dun. Seriously? Oh my gosh. If I'm that guy, I'm, I'm running for the exit. Sorry, gotta go. Show's been great. Um, you know, that traffic's gonna be brutal. I've got a two hour ride home. Um, so Mellencamp actually asked to find this guy and let me see him after the show. Because I'm sure Mellencamp is going to dress the guy down. I would say, hey, got a ticket here? You know, yes, this guy is disturbing the show. But the problem is, at that point, there was no show. Did I sign up or did I buy this ticket? Did I sign up? Did I um, buy this ticket so I could hear John Mellencamp tell stories? Well, Dave, he is a great storyteller, you know. <laughs> Apparently not. The people in Toledo and Cleveland... Uh, I guess he just, maybe he should just cancel going to Ohio. Um, but I think this is hilarious. I just do. So Mellencamp, uh, then tries to continue his story, but he's interrupted a second time, um, by someone else, uh, asking him to play authority song. <laughs> I fight authority and authority always wins. And in this case, it's John Mellencamp. He wins. Um, prompting the rocker to respond, guys, I could stop this show right now and just go home. Kids, I'm pulling the car over. I'm tired of this behavior. I could just stop the show. Then the audience collectively starts to get loud at which Mellencamp says, tell you what I'm gonna do. Since you've been so wonderful, I'm gonna cut about 10 songs out of the show. So wow, now he's going real passive aggressive, sarcastic. You've been great, so I'm going to cut this video short. <laughs> People are saying, yeah, Dave, hurry up and finish this video. He then begins performing Jack and Diane. There's a song that isn't played anymore on the radio. It's kind of like the only Mellencamp song that's ever played on the radio uh, before stopping to inform the audience. Now, he begins to play the song, and then he informs the audience, you know what? Show's over. And then he walks off the stage. He walks off the stage. According to the uh, Toledo Blade, yes, Mellencamp did leave the stage, although the concert wasn't actually over. So my guess is John was taking a break. You know, he needed, he just needed to collect himself and um, maybe give the audience time to cool down a little bit. <laughs> this is a great relationship between Mellencamp and his audience. He eventually returned. Oh, that's great news. And treated the crowd to classics, two classics like, this is great writing here, uh, just their classics like Rain on the Scarecrow, Lonely All Night. They're like those songs. They're not actually those songs. And Pink Houses. When have I heard Rain on the Scarecrow on the radio in the last 30 years? Stupid. Even Lonely All Night's kind of gone. Um, the paper notes overall, this is the Toledo Blade. Overall, John Mellencamp's return to Toledo was a most joyous experience, despite the presence of a few rude people from Toledo. I can't say the word uh, Toledo, Toledoans, all right? It just doesn't work for me. Who need to learn proper etiquette about behaving in public. So the paper, of course, is lecturing the, fruit, the rude people from Toledo who need to learn some manners. Okay. Thank you, Toledo Blade. Um, despite paying hundreds of dollars to see John Mellencamp, he decides he's going to tell a bunch of stories instead, instead of playing the music. Did you ever think of that one? Toledo Blade and John Mellencamp? John Mellencamp's tour hits East Lansing, Michigan, tonight. So if you're, <laughs> if you're in East Lansing, man, it's going to be a great time. A complete list of dates can be found at mellencamp.com. So, again, uh, I think this article, when you read it, is, is so pro-Mellencamp. It's funny because it's like 
He doesn't care for audiences talking back to him. And folks in Ohio learned the lesson the hard way. They did. He left the stage and then he came back. The fact that he came back was how they, <laughs> they learned the hard way. I'm sorry. This is just too much fun for me. So anyway, folks, if you're uh, in Michigan in East Lansing and you see my video in time, I will post this during the daytime. So uh, maybe you can sell your tickets or maybe if you are thinking about going to the show um, at the very last minute, um, maybe you want to not go. Look, um, Mellencamp, he's always been this way. Um, there are stories floating around now uh, mostly by people who used to work for or work with Mellencamp, and they say he's not a nice person. I mean, he's got all the money in the world. Um, he is basically a malcontent. Um, you know, he doesn't really like his 80s self because, look, everybody changes. Everybody moves on from different things, but he's a musician who is most recognized for the work he did in the 1980s. And people kind of liked his music, right? Most people are okay with John Mellencamp. I am, but, um, you know, uh, I don't know. It, it's, it's, I understand, too, the politics about uh, certain issues. He's, he's just so annoying. And, and, you know, here's a guy who should probably just play this, play the music. It's easier. Why tell stories? Just play the music, play the hits, John, and then just get off the stage and, and get get your money, get paid, and do a good job. Try to sound like your, your former self, which apparently from most videos I've seen, um, I mean, John Bon Jovi might be closer vocally to what he was. And I, I'm honestly saying this. Yes, I'm making this claim. Um, you know, John had surgery recently. And I think he's closer to his former self than John Mellencamp is to his former self vocally. And to me, uh, that does matter because that's how I continue to hear these songs every single day. The only solution to this, folks, other than having really good genes or, you know, vocal cord surgery is to quit, is to just get off the stage. I mean, if you can't do it anymore, then don't. But people continue to show up for these shows and pay lots of money. And then when you get there, you're like, what happened to John Mellencamp? And yeah, aging is a real bad thing to see. It just, you're like, oh man, this guy's gotten so old, but I've gotten so old and he's gotten so old. And then you start thinking about your mortality. It's better sometimes to just leave the good stuff in the past and not to get a newer version of that and then realize yeah, this is nothing like what I remember. And it's a shock. And, and it's also a big time disappointment. So I don't know if I would have heckled, but I completely understand. Play the music, keep it going. And then he's getting all passive aggressive on the audience. Um, poor John, poor John. And it was St. Patrick's Day. So People were definitely having a good time, whether John was having a good time or not. I'm sure the audience was uh, loaded up on their favorite adult beverages. Uh, before I go, it's Chimera. Hold your ground. Really good music. Check it out if you like melodic rock. I am going to be, again, starting to branch out into different music genres. I did a whole video about a new Sawyer Brown album, which is uh, country music. I know some people don't like country, but I do. Anyway, Chimera is a pretty cool band, and you should check out their catalog. It's really good. Uh, Patreon, YouTube memberships, very important um, to keep this channel going. Also, if you want to buy me a coffee, there's a new function for that. That would be kind of like a one-time thing. And I know a lot of people would prefer just uh, giving one time or having that option. Uh, say you win the lottery or something and you want to do a one-time gift over there. Um, <laughs> just send, send it directly. Okay. And I'll talk to me. If you're a patron, you could talk to me about that and we can, we can make arrangements. You know, I can have, uh, what is it? Uh, Michael Bloomberg, who is uh, John Mellencamp's buddy. I'll have Bloomberg send me some money because apparently he's got a lot. You know, he spent how much money on that presidential campaign and it went absolutely nowhere. 
which shows you if you have disposable income, you'll spend it on anything, including seeing John Mellencamp in concert. 